We're using the oven today to make this rich and tender, slow cooked beef madras. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family friendly recipes. And this beef madras really is one of our family favourites. The heat in the curry mellows as the curry is cooking slowly in the oven. It's really rich and tasty. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by preheating the oven to 160C or 320F. Now place one large onion that's been peeled and roughly chopped into a food processor along with three peeled garlic cloves and a thumb sized piece of ginger that's been peeled and roughly chopped. We're going to whiz that together to form a smooth paste. Heat two tablespoons of ghee or sunflower oil in a large casserole pan over a medium to high heat. Add in 500 grams, which is about one pound two ounces of braising beef that's been cut into bite sized chunks. We're gonna cook that in the pan, stir it a couple of times until brown. That should take about seven to eight minutes. Once the beef is browned, remove the beef from the pan using a slotted spoon or a spatula and transfer to a plate and set aside. Now we're going to add another tablespoon of ghee or sunflower oil to the pan and cook the onion paste together with two bay leaves for about five to six minutes, stirring occasionally until the onion starts to brown slightly at the edges of the pan. Add in two tablespoons of tomato puree or paste, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, three tablespoons of hot madras curry powder, quarter of a teaspoon of ground fenugreek, half a teaspoon each of tamarind paste, salt, and freshly ground black pepper, and stir it all together. Then cook for another two to three minutes until the spices start to release their fragrance. Add in 480 ml, which is about two cups of beef stock, along with 420 grams or one and three quarter cups of passata. Bring it to the boil and then add in the beef plus any resting juices back to the pan. Stir together and then cover the pan with a lid and place in the oven for three hours until the beef is tender. Be sure to check the beef a couple of times during the last hour of cooking and top it up with a splash of boiling water if it's starting to look a little bit dry. Once cooked, serve the madras on top of some basmati rice and top with some fresh coriander and some little cubes of red onion. I love to serve this with naan bread as well. And that's my slow cooked beef madras tender slow cooked beef in a luscious warming curry sauce. It's one of the recipes in my new book, It's All About Dinner. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.